watching, I guess this is like a year and a half ago, uh -huh. I was watching Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Okay, I like movie. that movie. That was yeah. a real good movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Cruising with Zach. Today we have a very special guest, Grace Marzak and her mom, Megan. Ladies, welcome on the show. Thank you, Zach. Hello. So Grace, how old are you? I'm nine. You're nine years old. Yeah. So you must have done something pretty special for a nine-year-old to be on Cruising with Zach. Yeah. Yeah. So you had a dog show for months, is that correct? Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, we judged the dogs okay. on like the tricks and loyalty kind ofness to their owner, and like the the full breeds the category, and then there is little dog, medium dog, and large dog. Okay. Um. And we were planning to have a mutt win, but really a full bred one. Uh oh. Uh, her name is Piper. Okay. And we gave out little bags for wags. Um, like little tote bags, and then they had treats and gift cards in them. Okay. So the categories would compete, and then the winners from all of those categories would compete for first, second, third, and fourth place. Okay, so fourth place gets something. Yeah, fourth place gets a bag with treats. Uh, they don't get a gift card though. Okay, so what made you put on the dog show? Um, well, I was watching. I guess this is like a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. I was watching Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Okay, I like movie. that movie. That was yeah. a real good movie. Uh -huh. um, and at one point, this dog gets, he can't go any further. He was like, I think he won. I forget, I haven't seen this movie in a while. Yeah, he like won, and then, but then they, but then they, they said, hey, you can't win. You're, the dog is uh, not, it's a mixed breed, blah, blah, blah. And it's like a mutt. You don't have his birth certificate. So then, that made. I, then then I at the time I had like Lucy, uh -huh. and she was my first dog. And I was like, well, I have a rescue dog. Why I, I, I want to be able to put him in a dog show? So then I started to think, and I was like, oh, maybe I could do a dog show for mutts at the park. And then I told my parents about it, and they were like, yeah, good idea. So then we waited and we started planning, and. And that came to It was me. a long year. That was it. So, long year of planning. you were like, hey, my dog can't be in the Westminster Dog Show because yeah. it's, a, it's a mutt. That's yeah. not fair. So, the best solution was you started your own dog show. Yeah. So, mom, what was your reaction when she came to you and said, mom, I want to start a dog show? Uh huh. Well, I wasn't there for the Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I was there for, we watched Westminster Dog Show. Okay. And, like, and she brought it up again saying, that's not fair. Where are the red? Where's the rescue category? We uh -huh. had to explain to her there is no rescue category. It's all full bred. And um, so then she decided that she was going to have this dog show on her own. And we yesed her. We placated her. Yeah. And thought that would be the end of it. And then for a year she carried on. And I tried to roadblock it. She wouldn't be deterred. And uh, in spite of me, she did it. She did it all on her own. So she got herself a little committee, right, Grace? You got the yeah. committee. You got all the paperwork. All the. Oh, uh, the permits are... Well, no. she talked to her grandmother, and her grandmother, we live in Upseek in small town. Okay. And somebody on the Parks and Recs got wind of it, and they approved it, I suppose, because no one shut us down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they... Who'd you go to, Grace? Humane Society? Yeah, I went to the Humane Society. Uh-huh. And they... Well, this my friend across the street, her mom is, like, on the Humane Society board or something like that, and... She was talking, and she was at a meeting, and she was talking to the Humane Society about it. And they said, yeah, that would be cool. And then we also went to Petco. And okay. They gave us, like, 50 Frisbees to give out um, for free. Yay. Um, bags for wags, they were a huge help. They were the gifts. And they gave us some business cards to hand out uh -huh. for free, too. So they were, like, so they were like, they were like a sponsor. Uh -huh. And then... Um, so was animal the animal house. Okay. They gave us all the treats that we needed, and we had actually extra treats from there. There was a lot of extra treats because we didn't know what to do with them. So then, <laughs> <laughs> those are all the people that we kind of went oh, to get started. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And 
how much money did you raise for the Humane Society? Uh, $600. You raised $600 for the Humane Society. To a nine-year-old, <laughs> depending on the strength of the, the yen, that's about like $2 million. <laughs> $600 in your first year, that's unbelievable. Are you going to have this next year? Yeah, it's an annual thing. It's an annual thing. And yeah. do you have a website? No. You, okay, is there a Facebook page? Not no. Not yes. Yet. Oh, there is. There is a Facebook page. Okay. And I believe it's called FC and Dog Show. The Epsican the, Dog the Epsican Show. The Dog Show, yeah. They, and, they posted all the pictures that um, that were posted in the current. And we just, uh, an hour ago, were at the Humane Society presenting the check with, there are nine other girls, eight other girls, okay. on this board that they formed, uh, the committee, the work committee. And they um, all went and presented the check to the Humane Society. And oh the Humane Society is right now undergoing a lot of work. And so they um, allowed them to go in the back and see all the dogs and all the work that's getting done to see their money in action. Wow, it was that's super great. Cute. Well, so they could definitely use the $600. Yes, they're getting all new floors for their kennels. And um, all the girls got to go in and watch it all happen. So if for people that don't live in Absecon, anyone can do it. Anyone. Yeah, it's, just, it's in Absecon, so I call it the Absecon. That's right. Oh. We don't discriminate against anybody. Mutts, right? Not we. These girls. Yeah, the board. The board. The uh, action committee. There really was very little parental involvement in any of this. That is unbelievable. So yeah. next year, the dog show. All right, mutts are welcome. All dogs are welcome, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's great. And you've raised a <laughs> lot of money dog, for the Humane Society. I do not have a dog. Oh. I have two kids and one on the way. So that's enough. Don't, that, uh, don't yeah, do it. Don't say dog. Maybe a goldfish. Don't do it. Okay. Um, so, Grace, what we're going to do is we are going to go into something called the lightning round. Where I'm going to ask you a couple questions and you answer them as quickly as possible. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Okay, let's do it. If you were in a food eating contest... And you could eat one food and win, what would you eat? Pot roast. Pot roast! <laughs> Something light. Okay, awesome. Um, if you could be any animal, what would you be? Um, a narwhal. A narwhal. Was that from Elf? The whale with the horn on its head? Yeah. Okay. No, Zach, it's a real animal. Yeah. I know what it is. Okay. I know what it is, Mom. Okay. All right. We've been researching them and they live on off the like far off the coast of Canada. Yeah, they're in the cold water. <laughs> I know what they are. All right. Okay. Final question. <laughs> Final question. Um, if you could have any superpower not flying, what would it be? Invisibility. Invisibility. That is like the third time someone said that. Why? You want to sneak up on people? Well, yeah, I like to scare my brothers. <laughs> okay, you like to scare your brothers? All right, that's awesome. Well, Grace, thank you so much for being on the show. Mom, thanks so much for tagging along. Thanks, Dad. All right, and look up Absecon Dog Show on Facebook. Yes. And you can sign up there and watch out for Grace because she's going to be your boss one day. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're welcome. Bye, guys. <laughs>